There is a Greek... Uh, very nice. Well, I'm not editing it. I don't care. There is a Canadian doctor who, whom I follow, um, Dr. Morin, and uh, he used the word Omicron instead of the, the typical American Omicron. Um, the Greek uh, Omicron. Um, but uh, O micron is interesting because it, it really is what it is. Micron is small in O. So the, literally the Greek small O is opposed to the O mega, which is the Greek large O. <clears throat> um, there are some uses uh, for each of them, of course. And that's why the differentiation. Um, but uh, the, that was from my Greek studies when I used to do a lot of uh, Catholic apologetics. The, invariably, someone would come up with a yes, but in the Greek it said this. And I'm like, yeah, but uh, the Greek also says this, this, and this. And it immediately shuts them down because I've, you know, they've just regurgitated it from some stupid book they read. And of course, I read the same stupid book, Know the Enemy, right? Um, so, what does that all have to do with my weight loss? Well, um, I'm looking for this, this bug. I'm looking for little Mr. Omicron here because um, I. Uh, I know before I started my uh, <coughs> my Syndrome X eliminating journey, I had it big time. Um, I am still going to do that video that I said I would where I critique myself and all the things that I thought I knew. Some things I got right. I mean, if, you know, a blind dog with a note in his mouth is going gonna, is gonna to get something, you know, um, here and there. But... Um, I was metabolically ill and I caught whatever it was I caught in November of 2019. Uh, and I had symptoms like asthma, which I never had asthma. And I've never been clogged like that before. I've had flus, uh, but the, you know, the, the headache, the muscle aches, and, and um, you know, the, the um, what do they call it? The, the uh, sequoia, the sequia something the, the 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 crap that follows for the next couple of weeks you know just hacking it out of your system <clears throat> and this one um the 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 hacking out of my system was about the same as as all the other flus i'd ever had it's just this specific respiratory problem um it didn't scare me it just felt like i'd never been able to not breathe so well um but that's part of my wake-up call, of course. Uh, and that year I went to Christmas and, and did all this stuff. And then, of course, March 2020, the world changes and, and goes into this gaslighting psychosis, uh, which, I, again, I have no part of that. I, I know what I know. Um, I have a, plenty of books. I'm looking at them right there on the lower shelf in the corner. Um, a few medical books that I decided to keep. Uh, from my 12 years of, of medical work in the United States of an American, and uh, that was in Arizona, if anyone cares. So um, I, I do speak with a little bit of, like, I kind of sort of know what the hell I'm talking about a little bit there. And <clears throat> I want it this year or whenever so I can find out, because I haven't been sick in two years. Nothing. Uh, I had allergies up until I started keto, ketovore, carniv carnivore, etc. vore. Um, no more syndrome exivore, and I have no allergies anymore. Um, so I, I will know absolutely, perfectly certainly by February when the, um, the sour orange blossoms come out or this thing called huele uh, anoche or noche huele bien or some, some thingy, some flower comes out at night, and that used to kick my butt all over Mexico. <coughs> and... Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see how how those out now. If I don't get allergies, then I'm done. So yay, wahoo! No more autoimmune disease. Um, what, what's happening is upset, and I saw this from CNBC. So you know, if people want to take me down or, or get mad at me, but they claim that 78% of the people who showed up in the hospital were either overweight or obese. By the way, I am BMI obese. Yeah, true. Divide your uh, weight in kilos by your height in meters squared. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And if you're if you hit 30, you're obese. 
I think from 25 to 30, you're overweight and under 25. Well, I don't know, but I don't fit, obviously, uh, statistical molds. I, I have never. I was in the military, and they ran the BMI, but they, they actually ran a, um, a uh, density test on my body and said, the, the, the bro is only like 7% body fat. No, he's, he's good to go. And they have something in my medical record from the Coast Guard that says, you cannot use BMI on this guy. Um, I'm like, I think it's called ectomorphic or something. I'm just, I'm not that rail, and I'm not the, the, the standard deviation male European white guy or whatever. I'm this robust um, peasant class Polak from, from uh, you know, the eastern, the eastern tribe there. Because um, Poland didn't even exist when my great-grandma came over to the United States. Uh, so yeah, I'm 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 pork and potatoes, man, and some and some uh, sauerkraut. All right, pork, potatoes, and sauerkraut. That's what my people ate. Period. I think they still do. <laughs> um, uh, fruits, almost none. Um, maybe I think I think my mom said we used to eat beets uh, or Zosha. My uh, great grandma Zosha. I do not speak any Polish. I know one word, Gówna. And that's all I got. My mom could understand Polish, my grandma could speak both, and my great-grandma barely couldn't speak English. How's that? Barely couldn't speak English. How's that for a Polishism, right? Hey, there, hey. All right, so anyway, onward. Um, so I'm looking forward to catching this thing. I mean, I, I do everything I can. I, I don't mask. I, I Obviously, I haven't taken a medical procedure since 1999, and I will never do it again. I'm not even going to check my prostate. My dad died of it. My Uncle John apparently had it or whatever. Uh, winds up passing away from liver complications, if, if I got that straight. Um, does it run in the family? I don't know. I, this is multivariable. I don't know if it's genetic. I don't know if it's epigenetic. I don't know if it's because of the stupid foods. I know my grandpa drank a lot of alcohol, arrhythmia, adio, 60 years old. Um, apparently the great grandma Zosha that I'm talking about, she broke her hip and, you know, checked out on the operating table at 78 years old. Uh, my grandma apparently dies of leukemia at 53. Now, I'm already two years over that. And my mom checked out at 64. Uh, I think it was a complication of pseudopulmonary embolism. And again, that's, um, but that, uh, how much of that is smoking and how much of that is just not eating well? I mean, honestly, it, it, it the last time, sir, I think they went on the South Beach diet, but the problem with South Beach is I think they reincorporate carbs and, and put you right back into your inflammatory, your, your, infl your inflamed situation. <clears throat> I mean, I can't hazard a guess as to what if my mom ate carnivore since like she was 30. I'm sure she'd still be around. Um, because that uh, pulmonary embolisms actually are a cause of uh, deposits in your arteries, you know, coming loose. Um, I think uh, complications from like a deep vein thrombosis where um, people who don't have syndrome X don't have clotting. They don't have these problems. <clears throat> uh, this is just the data that I got from, from my doctors. If you have doctors that have other information, by all means, cite it, link it. I'll be happy to read it. And, uh, you know, I'll have the doctor on live and we'll, we'll chat. Um, I'm not afraid of doctors. I'm not afraid of titles. I know what I know. He knows what he knows. She knows what she knows. You know what? Let's go head to head and see, see what we can do, huh? Looking for the truth. Of course, I'm not trying to win anything. I don't want a tribal, you know, I don't want a scalp or anything. That's not my deal. I don't care about that stuff. Um, I just want the truth. I just want to be healthy, you know. I don't care how long I live, as long as I'm healthy doing it. I feel good about it. So what the heck? Uh, so again, back on the Omicron. Oh, Micron. Um, so it would be interesting to catch it. Of course, I'm never going to know if I have it because I probably w will be quite uh, reasonable in symptoms. Um, I know I caught something because when I catch viral things, I wind up with little cold sores here and there. So I suffered from something. I just don't know what it was. And I know because I wasn't under stress and I wound up with a cold sore. And uh, so, okay, so I get a cold sore. And that that is always like dormant. Um, and, and when I get a cold or uh, quote-unquote a virus, um, I wind up getting that 
the, the little fueguito, the little cold sore. Hence the word cold sore. Funny how that comes up, doesn't it? Um, <clears throat> so there's, uh, I just want to see if, uh, you know, now that I don't have Syndrome X anymore, if I'm impervious to these so-called opportunistic infections, okay? And uh, what am I going to eat today? I, I'm feeling like I need something out of ground beef. Uh, I know the wife wants salad today, so I'll go ahead and chop up some of that. Um, I think it's time for me to make another batch of sauerkraut. Uh, speak of the devil. I haven't had my coffee yet. I mean, I woke up and I'm just like always bouncy. Slept really well. Fell asleep probably about 11 o'clock. I heard the little alarm pin tick on my clock. It just went tick, and I'm like 11 o'clock. And right after that, I don't remember anything. And then I woke up at 7.30, so obviously I had eight and a half hours of sleep, which seems to be my norm, eight and a half, nine. Um, I, I can go to 10 on like a Sunday uh, when I know I don't have any, you know, I don't have to pick up chicken wings or anything. I, don't, I couldn't care less, man. I just sleep. And then, but I eventually get bored and I wake up and I'm like, I'm bored. So, uh, so that's that. Uh, <clears throat> so again, oh, and there, there are certain laws in virology if you subscribe to viruses and bacteria. If you, I don't. I, I subscribe to the terrain theory. Um, these guys are anti-terrain people. I'm a terrain person. If you build your body, come what may. Um, if you want to believe in all the little maggots and things, well, go ahead. I, mean, I, I couldn't care less about that, but um, don't be afraid because uh, these uh, parasites, parasites do not go out to kill their hosts. As a matter of fact, they may kill some, but the ones who survive kind of, again, gain an immunity to them, and then they get to function and flourish for the rest of whatever their nature is um, in the human species. Endemic, they crop up, they pop up here and there. I mean, they are parasites after all. That's what they do. Uh, so when you understand that, and you understand that this parasite doesn't want to wipe out its host. I mean, Think of your 30-year-old, you know, retard there who doesn't want to get a job and is just, like, eating all your food. Okay, that is what we call a parasite. But this parasite will do just enough to make sure that you don't kick them out of the house. Okay, so that's kind of how these, these viruses work. They, they want to do just enough damage to make sure that you don't kick them out of your body. But at the same time, you still, you know, they can still freeload. All right, so, you know, they have a place to be. That's probably the best explanation I can find of it, since it is so American these days to have your 30-year-old retard. I don't have those. I'd be like, boom, you're out of here, homie. Have a good time. Prodigal child me to death, but you gone. All right? And my girlies ain't going to do that to me either. Um, I'm not into the 18-6 model. You know, 18, once you hit 18, you got six months to pack up and get the hell out. No, I'm not a retard. That, I'm not a retard on that end. Um, so you got, you got to give, uh, you got to give kids a chance to actually, um, kind of gently learn how it all works before you go thrust them into the universe. I'm not, I'm not into that. Um, but at the same time, I, I do understand it. And not like I would recommend that or anything, but if you have a 30 year old bonehead who can't get a job, won't get a job, get them out. There's plenty of jobs, apparently <laughs> work for a living. Own a business. Do something. Get your fat, lazy butt off my couch. Stop watching Dr. Phil reruns and get the hell out of here. I don't care. Um, so a little long today, but I don't care. This is actually, this whole vlog is actually more for me and posterity so I can look back in my history. And it's almost like a, a video log. Hence vlog. I, I, I have moments. Uh, my daughter journals and I speak. So, uh, so I, uh. This is kind of me talking to the camera. But I don't mind sharing it publicly because if there's something you guys can take away or you're bored, you know, fixing food or whatever, and you don't mind hearing my voice for the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes uh, while you're working, maybe I said something. Maybe I taught you Omicron and Omega, right? Mega and Micron. You know, maybe that was something fun for you today. I don't know. So we'll go ahead and let you go. Uh, Today, again, I'm thinking of something with ground beef, but I have to, I'll go to the internet and look up some um, ideas, and then of course I'm going to ketalize them to death, and or I will uh, totally syndrome X them to death for the family that I that still lives here that doesn't mind eating poison. Um, 
That's fine. They're young. They can they can handle a little bit of poison, right? I just choose not to anymore. So we'll talk to you guys later. Have a great Monday. And we'll talk soon. Bye.